Welcome to the Typhoon Q500 Plus Quick Start Guide. In this tutorial, we will go through all the necessary steps to get you up and flying. Before flying, make sure to correctly charge the batteries of the Typhoon Q500 Plus. First, power the SC3500 3 charger from a 100 to 240 volts AC outlet using the AC adapter and plug the battery into it. Or from a 12 volt DC accessory cigarette lighter receptacle in a vehicle using the included adapter. A green flashing LED indicates the charger is powered on and ready to charge. And a red flashing LED indicates the battery is charging. It will take approximately two hours to charge a fully discharged battery. While charging the Typhoon Q500 Plus, charge your ST10 Plus personal ground station, connecting it to the micro USB plug supplied and straight to any USB or electric plug adapter. Then we come to the camera preparation. Always remove the cover lock from the Seago 2 Plus by carefully sliding it backwards and place it back to protect it when stored. Insert the included 8GB card or any class 10 micro SD card from 4GB to 128GB. We provide two sets of four cell tightening propellers. In order to install them, first remove the warning tags from the aircraft's motors and take four propellers, 2A and 2B. Tighten the corresponding A and B propellers in the correct direction until they are secure without tightening too much. Once the flight is finished, in order to uninstall the propellers, use the tool included to release them easily. Install the battery of the Typhoon Q500 Plus by opening the back lid and sliding the battery until it is fully engaged. Close the lid and you are ready to fly. Before taking off, make sure the aircraft is in good conditions and you are respecting the safety recommendations. Always operate the Typhoon Q500 Plus in open areas, approximately 1,000 square feet or 93 square meters or more that are free from people, vehicles, trees, and other obstructions. Never fly near or above crowds, airports, or buildings. Never attempt to operate the Q500 nearby tall buildings, obstructions that do not offer a clear view of the sky, a minimum clearance of 100 degrees. When taking off, the Typhoon Q500 Plus must be approximately 26 feet or 8 meters from where the pilot will stand. Keeping all the warnings in mind, you can now power on the Typhoon Q500 Plus and the ST10 Plus by placing the aircraft on a stable surface and sliding bold switches to the on position. Do not touch or move the Q500 Plus until the initialization process is complete. The main LED status indicator will show solid green for smart mode or solid purple for angle mode. In case of blinking purple, the GPS is not yet locked and will be displayed on the ST10 Plus screen. To start the motors, press and hold the red start stop button for approximately 3 seconds and the propellers will start spinning. Slowly raise the left hand stick slightly above the middle position. The Q500 Plus will take off and climb slowly. To keep a desired altitude, keep the stick in the center position until the aircraft reaches a hovering flight. The farther away from the middle position in vertical direction, the faster the Typhoon Q500 Plus will climb or descend. When moving the stick to the horizontal direction, the aircraft will turn or yaw its nose left or right on the vertical axis. There are two ways of landing the Typhoon Q500 Plus. The first way is to position the Q500 Plus above the landing area and slowly lower the left hand stick to the lowest position. The Q500 Plus will descend slowly and land 
At this point, press and hold the red start stop button for approximately one second to stop the motors. The second way to land the Q500 Plus is to activate home mode, which will automatically land the aircraft within 13 feet or 4 meters diameter area around the pilot's position. For safety reasons, always land as soon as possible after the first low battery level warning shows on a screen. This warning is displayed at 10.6 volts, has a red warning message and intense vibrations. Below 10.2 volts, a second low voltage level warning with constant vibrations and audible alerts will appear and the aircraft will land automatically as close as possible to the pilot. The proportional control rate slider located on the right hand side of the ST10 Plus is designed to set the overall climb and descent speed as well as the overall directional speed of the aircraft. The Q500 Plus is programmed with three flight modes, Smart, Angle, and Home, and can be easily switched via the flight mode switch. When the main LED status indicator glows solid purple, the Typhoon Q500 Plus is in angle mode. The Q500 Plus will move in the direction given by the right hand control stick in relation to the front of the aircraft. In angle mode, the Q500 Plus will automatically hover and maintain altitude when the right hand stick is centered. When the main LED status indicator glows solid green, the aircraft is in smart mode with GPS lock. The Q500 Plus will always move in the direction given by the right hand control stick in relation to the pilot and no matter which direction the front of the aircraft is pointing. When smart mode is activated and the system is connected to more than six satellites, active smart mode follow me mode will auto enable. In this mode, the aircraft is capable of following the pilot, adjusting its location to the location of the ST10 Plus. Always make sure there are no obstacles and note that the altitude of the aircraft is always fixed. When the main LED status indicator flashes red, Q500 Plus is in home mode. In this mode, the aircraft will fly back in a straight line in the direction of the pilot's current location and automatically land within 13 to 26 feet or 4 to 8 meters of the pilot. Note that the trajectory should be free of obstacles. Control the camera tilt angle with the control slider on the left side of the ST10 Plus up to 90 degrees facing down. In order to take still photos, press the dedicated button on the top left side of the ST10 Plus until a sound confirmation appears. In order to record footage, Press the dedicated button on the top right side of the ST10 Plus until a recording timer shows on the screen. By repressing the same button, the video will stop and will be recorded into the SD card. Before recording footage, the Seago 2 Plus allows you to choose among 48, 50, or 60 frames per second by clicking on the icon on the screen and selecting in the menu. Also, for full screen FPV, double click on any position of the screen and enjoy a larger video display. Finally, remove the micro SD card from the Seago 2 Plus, insert it on the SD card adapter provided and place it in any computer to show and share your amazing aerial footage.